Hey, welcome back to Breathe Strength. My name is Charlotte, and today we're talking about how to become a Lululemon ambassador. But first, So I'm a legacy ambassador for Lululemon, which is just a fancy way of saying that my active ambassador term has expired. A normal ambassador term is, hey Siri, how long is a Lululemon ambassador term? I found this on the web for how long is a Lululemon ambassador term? Two years, and the term that I served was about four. So I'm coming at you from experience of having been there. Before we get into the how, I just wanna clarify the difference between a Lululemon ambassador and a Lululemon influencer. Ambassadors are people out there doing big things in their communities. So athletes, yoga teachers, fitness instructors, entrepreneurs, creators, the people that really care about community and lifting other people up, usually through health and wellness. Influencers are people who promote Lululemon product for commission. Ambassadors often get free clothes and influencers buy their own clothes and then get commission based on whoever uses their link to buy clothes. So it's a totally different ball game, the two. Both are amazing. I'm currently part of the Lululemon Collective, which is the influencer program. And like I said, I'm a legacy ambassador, which means I'll always have a place in Lululemon's heart as a former ambassador. So let me take you back in time a little bit. When I first discovered the Lululemon Ambassador Program, I was like, I am going to be an ambassador. I was so excited. I learned about it and I drove myself to the mall that day and I walked in, I said, can I speak to the manager? And so I met with the manager and I was like, I wanna be an ambassador. And she was like, honey, that's not how this works. So I was embarrassed and I went back home. Turns out, Lululemon has to ask you. Fast forward to a year and a half later and I was officially their ambassador. So here's how it worked in my experience. I was teaching fitness at the time, so mostly high intensity interval training at local gyms. I think I was teaching at like three or four gyms and I really loved Lululemon clothes. So I would go twice a month, maybe once a month to buy myself a new sports bra or a new outfit, just something to keep my wardrobe looking fresh when I teach. The more I went in there, the more I got to know the people who work there, what we call educators, which are those people on the floor just educating you about the different product, making recommendations based on your movement practices and what would feel good for you to wear. And then one of the educators told me that they were hiring for seasonal educators, which was just a contracted position for the holiday season. They needed extra people to come in and help fold the clothes and check people out and all of that holiday craziness stuff. And she told me that I would be perfect for it. So I did it. I worked as a seasonal educator for about two or three months, just really getting to know the product, getting to know the people. And I loved the whole culture so much. I really learned that Lululemon was so much more than just like cool clothes. They really have this whole way of supporting their employees and really encouraging them to go for their goals. And I was hooked. The nice clothes were just an added bonus to the culture of what I've experienced with Lululemon. So my seasonal contract ended and I was no longer working there. But since I had the friendships already with the educators, we kept in touch. I invited them to my fitness classes and they showed up one night at my high intensity interval training class with a box. And I was like, what is this box? I opened up the box after my class. There was about maybe eight or 10 educators that came to take my class and presented me with this box. And I open it and it's this big chocolate cake that says, will you be our ambassador? Yes, of course. And so I was officially a Lululemon ambassador. So let me break this down a little bit into actionable steps that you can take to become a Lululemon ambassador. This is one of the most common questions that I get on YouTube, on Instagram, is how did I become a Lululemon ambassador? Step one, determine your why. Why do you wanna be a Lululemon ambassador? Is it just because you love their clothes? Because if that's the case, I don't recommend being a Lululemon ambassador. Do you know their mission? Do you know their values? Do you align with the mission and the values of the company? If you answer yes, you can go on to step two, which is create a relationship with your store. So find your local Lululemon store, go in there, whether it's once a week, twice a month, whatever it is, whatever you can do, Go into the store and make relationships with the educators. Start to understand the fabric of the clothes. Start to understand what the clothes are meant for movement-wise. Ask for their recommendations. Create an authentic relationship with the educators of Lululemon. Step three, invite the educators to your thing. If you're a yoga teacher, invite them to your yoga class. If you're a HIT instructor, invite them to your HIT class. If you're a photographer, ask them if they want a photo shoot taken. Invite them to your thing. This will really strengthen the relationship between you and the store. And ultimately, they've got to ask you. So give them a reason to like you. And please be authentic. Step number four, talk about your goals with them. Lululemon is such a goal-based company. They want to help you. They want to see you succeed. So as you're creating these authentic relationships with the educators, 
talk to them. Talk to them about where you want to be a year from now and how Lululemon can help you get there without just saying, I want to be a Lululemon ambassador. Maybe it's something like, eventually I see myself opening up a yoga studio. It would be great to have more connections with the company to see how we could work together. Something like that. And then step number five, which is the ultimate step, be patient. The Lululemon ambassador program is a rotating program, which means if they are set in their number of ambassadors already and they're not looking for someone else, it's not the right time. But if they get to know you and they see that you keep showing up, even when they're not looking for another ambassador, you're going to be the first one in their mind when it's time to fill the role. So I hope this helps clear up how to become a Lululemon ambassador. Don't go walking into the store like I did years ago and blatantly just telling them that you want to be an ambassador. Make the relationship build the relationship and go from there. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a comment below if you are a Lululemon ambassador, how you got in the role that you're in right now, or if you're currently about to take these steps and make this life-changing relationship. I'll catch you next time.